Welcome to window number four of St. Mark's 2021 online advent calendar. Daily taking a familiar Christmas carol and thrusting it into the spotlight, we will analyze its source and history and explain the amazing story behind its creation. It is literally amazing how Christmas carols come to us from around the world and from many different time periods. Each daily devotion comes with scriptural passage, meditation, prayer, and a chance for you to listen to the carol of the day. We hope you will find this ministry meaningful, inspirational, and full of blessings. Today's Christmas card is the German favorite, Lo, Hara Rose, Air Blooming. Today's scripture comes from the Old Testament, Book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 10. In that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the people. The nations will rally to him, and the resting place will be glorious. According to tradition, the carol was created by a German monk who, while walking in the snow, found a rose in full bloom. Whether or not there is any truth to this legend, it is a fascinating place to begin. Christmas celebrates the fulfillment of many independent prophecies from the Old Testament. Isaiah was known as the Messianic prophet, he being the one who saw Jesus' glory and spoke about him. Seven centuries prior to Jesus' birth, Isaiah wrote of Christ's deity, his earthly ministry, his death, and his eternal reign. He foresaw Jesus' entrance into the world and described it like this. A shoot will come from the stump of Jesse, King David's father. From its roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest in him. Lo, how a rose air blooming is based on these Old Testament prophecies concerning the Rose of Sharon, an epitaph for Jesus. This German carol is thought to have originated in the 15th century when songs praising the Virgin Mary were especially popular. The song was first published in 1582 as a medieval Christmas carol. Originally, it featured 23 stanzas, each comparing Mary to a rose. As Protestants began making more use of this song, the shift of the focus turned from Mary to Jesus. When the Reformation rolled across Europe, the new version had Mary become the rose bush that bore the true rose, Jesus Christ. The exact authorship of the German text is unknown. Jesse had eight sons of whom David became the king of Israel. Eventually, David's kingdom was cut down like a tree leaving behind the stump of Jesse. About 30 generations after David, Jesus was born as King of the Jews. This is why we are now singing about Christ as the shoot who came out of the stump of Jesse. The first two verses of the song itself were translated from, into English in 1894 by Theodore Baker, an American music editor who studied and lived in Germany. He later became the literary officer of the G. Shermer Company in New York from 1892 to 1926. Harriet Spaeth, translator of the third verse, was an active Lutheran musician in Baltimore, Maryland, and edited the Lutheran Church Music Book in 1872. The melody, thought to be equally as old as the lyric, was adapted and put together by Michael Praetorius, a prolific composer who wrote music for many Lutheran hymns. The line, when half spent was the night, appears in the first two stanzas. This, no doubt, is a reference to the long wait in human history for the fullness of God's time to happen. However, when it eventually happened, very few noticed. An even more important truth concerning Jesus' birth occurs in the last verse. Jesus was true man, yet very God. A very famous pipe or garden piece based on the ancient carol was written by the romantic composer Johannes Brahms in 1896 in his 11 chorale preludes. It remains one of the best loved pieces of organ literature. And what of the monk who mentioned in the beginning of the devotion? He supposedly plucked it and took it back to the monastery. There he placed it before the altar and dedicated it to Mary, the mother of Jesus, sometimes referred to as the Rose of Sharon. The carol
carol is simple but lengthy, song of devotion referring to the Song of Solomon. Will you pray with me at this time? Dear God, your word has been an inspiration to so many for such a very long time. The inspiration for so many Christmas carols dates back to the prophet Isaiah. Your coming to us was foretold for such a long time. Thank you for making good on your promise to us. Thank you for sending your son to intervene on our behalf. We praise you that so many of these stories inspired words, which in turn inspired musicians to set those lyrics to music. Today we continue to sing your praise and to thank you for the most precious gift of all that was sent to us on a story on a starry night such a long time ago. We thank you for the true rose, Jesus, and in his name we pray. Amen. Oh. 